joined by my husband, Cody. What's up, guys? Guitar Dude. And we're gonna answer your most asked questions about changing your strings on your guitar. The guitar that we are going to be showing you today is the Quart Gold OC6, and Quart is our guitar sponsor for the month, so you're gonna be seeing more of this guitar. I actually unboxed it last year, so I'll link that video below if you wanna check it out. Absolutely love it. So excited to finally change the strings on it because it desperately needs it. Yeah. So do you also need those tools or can you just do it by hand? Yeah, that's a great question. So I need to grab the tools. I need to be able to grab the tools. I don't know if you want to hold the guitar. Grab the tools. Okay, all right. You want to take the guitar? Yes. Okay, I'll show you guys the tools that we usually use whenever we are changing strings. So some of these are optional and some of them are ones that we actually kind of need to use to change the strings. The first one that's really handy is a string winder. And you don't necessarily need this for the string winding aspect, but what is important about this is that right here at this little end part, I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but there's actually a little section of this little piece of plastic that you can stick underneath the bridge pins to help pop them out. And that's nice to have, and it really is kind of the safest way to do it for your guitar. <laughs> do you remember when we were changing the strings? Oh my gosh, channel? yes. We tried using this actually, and the strings were so tight on one of my guitar bridges, we had to use what was, we invented the quarter trick. Yeah, the quarter trick. Yeah. Which was really sketchy. <laughs> um, so sometimes these work, sometimes these don't. Yeah, sometimes they don't. This is a really cheap one of these string winders. Um, they have much better quality ones that work mm -hmm. quite a bit better mm -hmm. as well. So there's that. If you don't have a string winder handy, you can just use a pair of pliers. This is a kind of comically large pair of pliers for this purpose, but it was the only ones that we had handy. I was wondering why you had this <laughs> on the table. I used to do this, but usually most of the time I'll use a string winder and pop the bridge pins out. But if you don't have a string winder, you got pliers, if you know somebody has pliers handy, you can just use pliers to just pull those out. Little janky, it can kind of damage your guitar if you're not careful, so I don't super recommend it, but if you don't have kind of a guitar changing string tool like this string winder that has one of those little things in it to pop the bridge pins out, mm -hmm. you can substitute pliers. Um, just be careful when you do it because you could damage your guitar a little bit. Sometimes if you buy one of these a little bit nicer of these string winders, it'll kind of have everything that you need in it without having to have multiple tools. Mm -hmm. So I would kind of recommend to like just spend the 10, 15, 20 dollars, get a decent string winder and it'll have all the tools you need. But again, you can also just use wire cutters. The main purpose for these is that whenever you put the new strings on, it's a little bit out of the shot here, so maybe we can bring the headstock down you'll have all this excess string popping off the end of these tuning pegs up here. And what you wanna do is you wanna be able to go in there and clip that off so it's nice and neat and clean. Unless so. you're one of those people that likes to just have them dangle everywhere. Don't be one of those people. Don't be one of those people. Now we're gonna go ahead and hop over to Cody's channel where we are going to change the strings on this dusty no. surf waxed port guitar. It is an amazing guitar and I can't wait for you guys to hear how it sounds and we will see you over there. See you over there guys. Yes. 